There is quite a lot of apostasy going out there today, ladies and gentlemen. And well, one thing that we can all agree on is that when you try to hold these individuals accountable for what they say, for their actions, they don't like it. And often you'll hear them complain in public forums and trying to earn sympathy from others who also agree with their false message. And one of those individuals is Brandan Robertson, who is a self-described pastor, very popular on TikTok, and recently went on a show to debate the rainbow lifestyle, but it did not end up very well for him. We're going to get into all the details of here in just a second, guys. First, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit that like button for me. Hit it like 10 times to make sure your like actually goes through with the way that they play these games now, not letting the likes to go through, especially for my channel. Very important. Also, please share the video. Help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell. Subscribe. Wear the glasses because I'm blind. And guys, if you enjoy my work here and you're able to help contribute to my ministry with a generous donation, a couple different ways you can do that. One, you can just click the super thanks down below on this video here. That'll open up a donation prompt for you to make a one-time donation. Leave a comment with that that gets pinned down below. You guys could also help me out here with my goal for the month of March, trying to get at least five new patrons to sign up and bless our ministry for as little as five bucks a month at patreon.com slash conservative truth. Now, we still don't have any new signups yet, guys, but I know with your help, we can make this happen. We did the goals for both January and February. Let's keep that streak going. With Patreon, you get alerted for all my content, unlike YT and their alerts, which you're not going to get all of them. So if you don't want to miss any content, make sure you are logged into Patreon. We're there. You can also leave all your comments on these videos completely censorship free. No worry about YT blocking, taking down what you guys are saying, even being able to send me direct messages on that platform. And if you want to know my story, how did I go blind? How do I operate this entire video ministry with no physical sight at all? I have a video that explains it all down below. I think you'll enjoy. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So Brandon Robertson is one of those, you know, so-called pastors that likes to go out there on TikTok and advocate for basically everything that the Bible is against. Here's one thing that I'm sure that we have all noticed, and I have reported on this, you know, for the better part of a few years now. It's getting even bigger in terms of how it's spreading. There has been this more widely, you know, acceptance amongst the rainbow lifestyle across evangelicalism. And it's in a lot of denominations, but more and more, you're seeing these voices come out in support of this, even using and twisting scripture to try and trick people into thinking that this is something that God would anoint or God would bless, which couldn't be further from the truth. This is apostasy. This is what the Bible says is going to happen in the last days when it talks about there being a great falling away that would take place right before the return of the Lord. Now, I'm not talking in terms of those out there who have been basically, you know, pretending to be pastors, apostates in there that have been deceiving flocks. What I really see with this is that when you have pastors like an Andy Stanley, for example, I've talked a lot about recently, he was affirming the rainbow lifestyle and all that, how you have so many within the congregation that are still staying there, they're remaining. See, to me, this is part of the great falling away because they continue and they choose to sit under leadership that is purposefully deceiving them and they stay there. They are just as guilty, in my opinion, as these false pastors in the pulpit are because they stay there, they maintain their position and they allow themselves to think that, oh, well, what the pastor is saying is true because it's a pastor. Yet what they don't do is read the word for themselves to see exactly what it says about these issues. Now, this brings me to Brandon Robbins, somebody that I have talked about in the past who uses his platform to basically, again, undo everything that the word says. And somebody who has even gone on record on certain shows by saying that God himself makes mistakes. If that were true, then you could pretty much take everything that Jesus did on that cross and throw it away. God would then be called a liar essentially making his word untrue and useless. You might as well throw it away, which oddly enough is exactly what Robertson did. Now, he recently went on um, an Apologia's show with Jeff Durbin and James White. Now, previously, Robertson has gone on other so-called Christian platforms where they've allowed him to spread his blasphemy. However, that was not the case here 
when it came specifically to Jeff Durbin. And as they were having this conversation, because Robertson likes to, you know, champion himself as somebody who likes to get involved in these conversations, even if, you know, he disagrees with you. He's open to the conversation. What Jeff Durbin did here, and I got to commend him, and I have the clip for this, and I'll put it for you in the description below. He talked about the upbringing of Robertson and said, you know, in the past, you had admitted that you were somebody that struggled with, you know, you know, rainbow attraction. And you guys know what I mean when I say rainbow. I say that for obvious reasons. He said, you were somebody who admitted that you struggled with this. And this, he said to me, was an indicator that, well, you had once been in the right frame of mind as far as the faith goes, as far as God's, you know, you know, you know, word when it comes to the rainbow lifestyle, how it is wrong and how it is a sin. And he said, but what happened, he said, is that you went from, you know, simply saying you struggle with this to an open embrace now to an all out, you know, promotion of false gospel. And he told Robertson this right on the show. He said, you are an apostate. And Robertson pushed back on this. He did not like that. He did not like being called an apostate when Durbin brought this up. But again, credit to Durbin, he would not back down on this. He says, just be honest, you are choosing to reject scripture and remain in lifestyles that are separate from God. And Robertson seemed very frazzled by this. He did not like it one bit. You can you know, witness it all in the clip, again, that I will put for you here in the description below. Now, after being held to account, which again, he didn't like, he went on to his TikTok and he complained and he cried and said that he regretted going on the show because he said, this is not what the fruits of the spirit are about. There was no love being practiced here, right? There was no patience being accepted here. I, I, I would argue completely different. Love is telling somebody the truth. And Jeff Durbin was actually very respectful when it came to Robertson, he said, look, I, I want to be respectful to you as possible. I'm not trying to put you down. He's like, but I'm telling you the truth. He says, look, you were made in the image of God, just like me and everybody else. He's like, I'm just telling you honestly. And that kind of honesty was not something that Robertson wanted to hear. So he said this was, you know, you know, them being arrogant on the show. And, and he can't accept that. He can't have that whatsoever. You know, if you're going to call yourself a pastor, okay, you better be really sure that you are preaching the uncompromised word of God because for people like Robertson, they're going to be held to a higher account, okay? He doesn't have any church or anything like that. He's on social media. He puts out these videos calling himself a pastor and has all these followers, thousands upon thousands upon thousands that buy into his lies. You know, we need more voices like Durbin and others out there who are willing to stand up for biblical truth because the one thing that I can tell you guys here in these last days is that sound doctrine is going to be harder and harder to find. In fact, the Bible even says that in the last days that men would reject sound doctrine in favor of the doctrine of demons. And that is precisely what we are seeing take place right now, except that it has exploded to levels that we never thought we would see. We are getting very close to the return of Christ. You have to know that these wolves are going to continue to come out Okay, not just one or two here and there, but they're going to come out in packs and you have to know how to combat that and stay solid in your foundation of the word of God, no matter if it costs you friends, no matter if it costs you family, whatever the case, at the end of the day, it is more important that you stand loyal to God than to this world because you will be judged for it. I'll have more on this in the description. What I want to do right now, though, guys, is something that I do on all these videos, and that's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines. I keep you guys up to speed on everything that's going on. I do it because we are in the last days and Christ is coming soon. If you are somebody that's watching right now and you have never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer that you could do in your own words, but... I will give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. This is something that a Robertson needs to do, but chooses not to. It's something that we all are. The good news, though, is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, 
to die on that cross for the sins of all the world as he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back into your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says that he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I will have more on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget, the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. You can go to patreon.com slash conservative truth. Sign up for as little as five bucks a month, guys. Help me out with my goal for the month of March, trying to get five new patrons. Remember, we still don't have any new signups yet, but I know with your help, we can make the goal happen just as we did for both January and February. You can also click the super thanks down below on this video here. That will open up a donation prompt for you to make a one-time donation and leave a comment with that that gets pinned down below. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.